it's time to pack up the things and get ready. We're hitting the road, <laughs> but not as usually. It's gonna be a race. I never shoot any racing video. Oh, this one is gonna be different. I know that we have to pack the most necessary stuff and bring with us whatever we need to film this crazy racing that's gonna happen on the Friday and the Saturday. I can't wait to get there and press record button. B roll. like this thing charger with two batteries in it this thing can save you a lot of time in editing these guys are my microphones this is my audio solution power junkie from blind spot you got your npf batteries which are the most popular on the market right now you hook it up and you have options usb 7.4 volt electrical tape alum keys multi-tool everyone should get it this is pretty useful the two different types of cables power bank you can recharge it it has a solar panel it works as a light powerful a lot of storage four terabyte one terabyte ssd drive ah, satisfying velcro this thing simply replaces any tape because the best video can be ruined by bad audio i always take earphones with me pen drive something what is must have if you are recording outside and the filters circular polarizer have you ever had the situation that you know your the filter stays on data cable you need to damp the footage right different cameras a7 III I leave the lens on it because I need it ready to go once I am on the place I simply reach my backpack and I take it grab it I turn it on it's ready I have all my settings already set to everything what I need exposure and I'm ready to shoot v-mount battery to power my black magic camera sufficient enough to power focus motor and the monitor and they last pretty long and they have this indicator i recommend it to everyone who is using more attachments more gadgets around your camera and when your camera is built up these little things they live in my ears a telephoto lens this is 70 to 300 people can blame this one but it's pretty good telephoto lens it's not about the best and the greatest it's about what you can do with that later I never know which lens I'm gonna need so this is the killer this is the thing that brings you a lot of fun a bulldozer of lenses this is 24 105 lens from Canon big range and it's solid and I am never hesitating to bring it with me we're gonna talk about it later a little bit more my new baby this is anamorphic lens 35 mil from sir we i'm gonna dedicate a separate video regarding this lens piping cloth extra cable that cat i love it really need in windy conditions outside this is something what i'm using whenever i can and this is my baby polar pro base camp filter system and matter box with the flag you can adjust your exposure by just turning your circular polarizer with variable nd in it nope actually not anymore you must have if you travel and you have more electronic devices that you want to charge in the same time and after a whole day you're looking in the hotel for any free outlet because you've taken every single one in the room this thing this is a saver it has eight usb slots can show you amperage and voltage of each one everything in one outlet of course the tripod gorilla pod but i love it it bends every way this episode is not sponsored by Epidemic Sound, but I love the music from Epidemic Sound. I think this is a service that guarantees that my videos, they are gonna have a drive, energy, and put a splash into the screen because any picture combined with the music, fusion of two different worlds that they live together and you know, one is audible, one is visible. This is something what drives every single piece of creation I am editing. Epidemic Sound, I don't know how they came up with an idea, but there's so many great pieces and I'm using it every day. I'm scrolling, I have my playlist. If you would like to try 
Don't hesitate, there's a link down there. You can try it on your own. You're gonna be the happiest man listening to the greatest music in the world. Epidemic. <sighs> Sound. Okay, I know that I didn't cover everything what I taken with me on the trip, but this is time to go. I have to run because I'm gonna be late. I have to bring this camera with me, so see you on the race. Definitely the time to take off. Woo! Let's go. The car in front of me drifted in front of my car and I barely stopped. It's so crazily bad to drive on this road. Good, I paid for the tollway and there are the lows. This road turn into a winter hell. This is highway to hell, but in winter, so it's like cold hell. It is 2.30 in the morning. I'm still running. The blizzard is over. Two hours left, baby. Two hours left to the destination. I know I'm gonna be there very early in the morning and at night I have to go to the fast pickup and not really sure what to expect. I'm not really sure where to go, how does it look like and what is it gonna be about. But I'm still so pumped and excited. <laughs> I have never been into racing cars. This is something what was always coming to my mind like this is action this is something like a higher level of filming and you have to know how to do that you have to precise your moves you have to be fast you have to be exact and on time cars especially in motorsports are moving really fast and if you want to capture the frame you have to focus trigger it in the right moment so you got the frame and you capture this action you capture the essence of that what's happening with these cars when they are on move. I don't know, motorsports are pretty interesting, but maybe they were out of my range when I was younger because the parts, the car in general were expensive, but the cars, sports cars, were something exclusive. Very few people had. My first car was Mercedes 190D. It was a diesel car. Come on, I had a real wheel drive and had so much fun drifting. Back in the days when I was a pizza delivery boy, I couldn't wait to hit the road and the first turn. Reduce the speed just a little bit, reduce the gear and add the gas in the right moment. Turn your steering wheel and I started sliding snow drifting. I would like to repeat one day. I just want to mark that I'm super excited to see that event. And that's going to be the first event. And if it will go well, I'm sure that I'm going to participate in another one. so tired I have no idea which cabin is that it could be any of these three <laughs> let's go That was the...